Asian elephant also known as Elephas maximus come from family Elephantidae. They can grow to 18 to 21 feet in length, weight of 2 to 5 tons and stand 8 to 10 feet at the shoulder. They live in tropical and subtropical broadleaf forests as they prefer transitional zones between two ecological communities, forests and grasslands. They move through vegetation zones seasonally and often found along the rivers in dry months. A study by a few researchers on 2008 estimated 1,223 to 1,677 individual elephants widely distributed in 7 of the 11 states of Peninsula Malaysia and estimated around 2,040 individuals of elephant in Sabah. Elephus maximus is now categorized as endangered species A2C by IUCN. It also listed on sites Appendix I, which prohibits the international trade of specimens of this species. In Malaysia, the status of Elephus maximus has been elevated from protected species in 1972 to totally protected species in 2010. In Malaysia, habitat loss and floral fragmentation have been the main causes of the decline in the elephant population due to the agricultural development. Habitat loss and fragmentation can be defined as the disappearance and segmentation of forests into patches due to the rapid conversion of forests into plantation and urban dominated areas. Their habitat has converted into all farm and rubber plantation, and these plantations are accompanied by human settlements, roads, and dams, which further the premise of their habitat. The rise of rubber price in market resulted from the increasing demand of rubber latex products such as tires, gloves, and rubber wood furniture has much increased the forest conversion. Farm oil plantation also contributed to the deterioration of elephant habitat. The high demand of coconut oil, CPO, canal oil, and biofuel have encouraged more forest clearance for oil farm plantation. Consequently, this activity led to human elephant conflict as the elephant encroached into plantation while searching for food and water. Not to forget, poaching is one of the threats of Asian elephant. Poaching is defined as hunting of elephants or its derivatives to be traded for profit. Elephants are being poached for ivory, meat, tail hair, hide, trunk and food trafficking. Ivory has a high commodity value and persists illegal ivory trade to support the demand. Massive conversion of forested lands into plantations and infra infrastructure developments had forced elephants living in a smaller area and increased porches accessibility. As a result, elephants become more visible and easy target for porches. Therefore, high demand and monetary return from ivory trade and habitat loss are reasons to the increment of illegal poaching as well as the decrement of elephant population. Thus, poor governance in societal problems can become another major threat for the remaining elephant populations if proper solutions were not taken to curb societal problems. How to protect Asia elephant in Malaysia, conservation and relocate elephant. One of the conservation centers for elephant in Malaysia is Kuala Gandah Elephant Conservation Center. 
The Kuala Ganda Elephant Conservation Center is an elephant sanctuary located in Tamalo in the state of Pahang, Malaysia and within the Crow Wildlife Reserve. The center was established in 1989 by the Malaysian Department of Wildlife and National Parks and formed a base for the elephant relocation team which since 1975-74 has been reducing problem as their elephant whose habitats are being lost to cultivation or development and relocate them to suitable habitat such as Taman Negara. The center also aims to raise awareness and support research and it has increasingly become a tourist attraction since its exits began to be published in 1997. National Elephant Conservation Action Plan for Peninsula Malaysia and Elephant Action Plan 2012-2016 for Sabah. The government has been working on the implementation of the National Elephant Conservation Action Plan (NECAP) for Peninsula Malaysia by Department of Wildlife and National Parks Peninsula Malaysia in 2013. It was developed due to the need of integrate the Central Forest Pine (CFS) master plan. This action aims to have elephants roaming freely in their habitat. It has described 72 actions under 7 categories. Most of the actions are focused on habitat protection for elephants, stricter law enforcement and more effective human-elephant conflict management. The government also working on the implementation of the Elephant Action Plan 2012-2016 for Sabah by Sabah Wildlife Department. This action recommends to establish Borean Elephant Conservation Unit and Borean Elephant Alliance BCA or BECA for better communication between partners that involve in elephant conservation. BECA established Sabah Elephant Conservation Unit and Borean Elephant Sanctuary BES best to work towards peaceful HBC mitigation techniques, promote awareness, identify problems and continuous update of the elephant situation. Best aims to house orphan, displaced, or injured white elephant for translocation back to their natural habitat. This plan also suggests to get the Lower Kinabatangan, North Kinabatangan, Tebin, and Central Sabah as managed elephant ranges merged. With proper monitoring system and areas with viable population, at least 50 breeding elephants, translating into a total population of 125 to 150 elephants shall be declared as MERS likewise. What will happen if we do not protect the Asian elephant from now? By protecting elephants, we also protect other animals that live in their habitat. Asian elephants help to maintain the integrity of forests and grassland habitats. Their large size enables the creation of pathways through dense forests along which they travel, which then creates access for other wildlife. In short, if elephants were completely eliminated or prevented from roaming freely within a broad ecosystem, this ecosystem will cease to flourish, they will become less diverse in some places, will collapse to oversimplify impoverishment.